Hi, it's Shelly, and welcome to my channel, What Are We Doing Today? Oh, the rooftop at La Sirena. Such beautiful vistas. And they have daily live entertainment to enjoy during their 4 o'clock happy hour. Don't miss Wednesday open mic. Very popular among expats. So get there a little early to ensure you get a table. In today's video, we're cooking a bit. We're watching Miss Penny's antics and talking a bit about bringing your pet uh, to Mexico and visiting Leona Vicario via the Colectivo. So come on, living life in Mexico, it's what we're doing today. Today I made some amazing eggplant parmesan and I know it's not a Mexican dish, but I wanted to share it anyway because it was delicious. If you want to see the video where I made this, join my Facebook group from the link in the description below and I'll post it there. <coughs> Goofy girl. <coughs> 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 I heard her barking out here. I'm like not sure what exactly it is, but you look up here. Couple of big lizardy guys. Whoops, whoops, whoa. I'm not sure whether they're fighting or, uh, you know, making love. I'm not sure which they're up to here, but uh, yeah, she's, Penny's getting a little concerned about this. Very cool, life in Mexico. I had a follower ask about bringing a pet to Mexico, so I just wanted to do a quick shout out that it is totally doable. I'll put a link at the uh, end of the video and in the description to the video I did specifically on the topic of bringing your pet. I hope this answers any questions you may have on this topic. You catch the Colectivo to Leona Vicario at the southeast corner of the park in La Colonia across from the OXO. Trips to and from Leona Vicario run approximately every hour or so, depending on when the bus fills up. The schedule is very laid back and you're best to just show up and just catch the next one whenever it happens to go. It's Mexico. The park is a really nice place to sit and wait for the bus anyways. So it arrives. And we're ready to board, waiting for more passengers. Okay, we're filled to capacity and we're off. You can catch this Colectivo to visit any of the cenotes along the Ruta de los Cenotes as well. Just tell the driver where you want off and he'll stop. And to come back, you just wait at the side of the road and flag it down on the way back. Leona Vicario is a lovely little town much less touristy than Puerto Morelos, but you still have access to some local shops and restaurants. Okay, we're here. There's a square, and that is where you'll be catching the Colectivo back, on the same street as the town sign. Nice little centro area, and I believe on Sundays there's a local market held here. The best mode for getting around here in Leona is moto taxis, which are motorcycles hooked up to a nice little covered bench and they take you where you need to go. They're really meant to fit two people but Areli, Patty and I all managed to squeeze into one.
These vehicles are so much fun to get around in and reasonably priced at around 30 pesos for the three of us. We headed right out to the museum, a tiny bit out of town. Any of the drivers will know where to go. It's a bit of a bumpy ride in this vehicle, but we were laughing all the way. If you've never been to the Tukul Tayam Museum in Leona Vicario, be sure to take a day and go. It has an award for being a major cultural project and it's well worth the 60 peso entry fee. Upon entry to the museum, there's a map showing all the states of Mexico and what indigenous peoples came from each state. It's very cool and there are many different groups indigenous to Mexico. We got to play some early musical instruments and decided we'd better keep our day jobs. Our all-girl band was not very good but lots of fun. There's a little dinosaur room uh, showing dinosaurs that were found in Mexico. Not necessarily in this area because it's believed to have been underwater when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. The rock and mineral display in this little museum is amazing and quite extensive. Fossils are on display as well. And this figure shows a Mayan woman giving birth, yikes more beautiful gems and artwork and then the electromagnetic spectrum showing the tiny area that we as humans are capable of seeing with the naked eye. They do a neat demonstration of three rocks seen by humans and then they how they look under ultraviolet rays. It's pretty amazing. Neat little time display on the way up to the death display, representing the reality that our clocks will all stop someday and that we only have a short time on this earth. I was so poor that I saved. So vain you are, angry how you turned out. And what makes you suppose, Hunter? that your life is worth more than a jaguar, an agute, or a deer. Who are we? We are those beings who are going to die. I told you not to work so much. Wise words. Very interesting display on the different cultural way of looking at death. At the end of the guided tour, you're left to explore the beautiful grounds outdoors. Absolutely gorgeous. The museum is used as a teaching center for local children to learn about their history and culture and is funded by admission fees and donations. So if you're looking for a place to donate money or school supplies, this is a great cause.
So we had arranged with our moto taxi driver to come back and pick us up in an hour. Well, we ended up spending almost two hours at the museum, so we started our trek back into town. But lo and behold, he came back again and picked us up. So we're off for lunch at this little place that Aureli knew to serve amazing ribs. Very local, no signage, and the food was both plentiful and delicious. Huge portion of ribs, rice and beans, fresh tomatoes and cucumbers along with a drink, and the meal cost 200 pesos each, and we ate the whole thing. Walking back to the downtown square, we came across this cemetery on the main street in town. So we went in to take a look around. Very beautiful. We're here in this beautiful cemetery. Cemeteries always hold a really particular interest to me. I'm um, not really sure why, but it's just, I find it just well, it's part of the culture, right? We're back at the square. It's time to head back to Puerto Morelos. We had a great day. On the trip over and back, you pass by the location of where the Tren Maya is going to be stopping for the Puerto Morelo station. No word yet on exactly when it will be operational here. I hope you enjoyed coming along on our trip today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.